Um, I went into care when I was 15. I sort of had to grow up very, very quickly. You know, if I could go back to like speak to 15 year old me, I'd sort of go, you know, it's going to be really hard, it's going to be horrible, you're going to feel rubbish all the time, and you're going to feel angry at everything. But it does get better. At 15, I was on point, I could do my washing, cooking, I really sufficiently look after myself. But emotionally, I had no clue what to do. Absolutely no idea. Um, so I needed someone to sort of emotionally look after me but also treat me like an adult at the same time a little bit. My my sort of most recent placement, on the first day I was there I said, You're just gonna you're just gonna give up on me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you hate me like I've made everybody else hate me and this is gonna break down and you're gonna leave me and you're never gonna talk to me again. And she went, Yeah maybe but we'll see how it goes, aren't we? And I was there for five and a half years. So I knew she would never lie to me. She would do things for me that I wasn't used to people doing things for, like I needed new glasses and she took me to the opticians and bought me new glasses. She helped me build up a support network. When I moved in with her, I had just her and she managed to get me a, a, a therapist um, and, and then from, from having therapy I managed to sort of be able to form really good friends and relationships. The reason I do all this stuff is so that we can get foster carers who who genuinely want to do what, they, what they're doing, who are willing to adapt and learn, and who will listen to the young person's perspective and really advocate and be that megaphone for that young person because that's what I needed when I was, when I was that age. If they're nice people who genuinely care about the welfare of young people and who want to help but don't think they're going to save the world with it, that's it. They just need to be themselves and be a bit nice.